Howdy everybody and welcome back to G Spree. So today I'm doing something a little different. It's not really, well, it's not, it's not a gaming video in the, in the sense that I'm gaming, but you know, it's something kind of cool. It's something kind of want to try my hand at. Um, so there's this cool new game uh, coming out called Brute. Blue Protocol. It's by Bandai Namco. It's going to be a massive multiplayer online RPG game, whatever. Um, and it's it's just like another anime kind of style game. That's just about all I know about this game. So I want to essentially watch this trailer. I hope I have the right trailer. Um, I don't know which trailer it is. I don't know if it's like the first trailer or if there's four more. I understand that apparently the game is out in different regions. Uh, it's just not out for the US, but it has a release date and apparently it's free to play which is pog but it's on steam so without further ado we can go right into this i've got it pulled up right here so i basically want to figure out <laughs> what this game is um because i've had my real i've had my eye on this i've had it in my watch list for a while um, no i have the wrong one and there's these stupid ign people talking over it. okay let me go find the right one all right so here's the official like announcement trailer by Apparently there is actually a Blue Protocol channel, so it's kind of introducing us to... So I, I hear there's classes. I know that there's classes, Did right? But like... Oh, do I? I don't, actually. Am I too big? Is my is my camera too big? Hold on a second. There, I'm gonna tuck myself up over here. Ooh, and Amazon Games, they made Lost Ark. So that's why that, that looks very Lost Ark-esque, uh, but if it was even more anime. Because Lost Ark is cool, I do enjoy Lost Ark. Um, I'm not super far into it though, uh, which I would be down to play um, on the stream, on the on the stream, just ma mainly because I don't know how I would make a video on that. It's kind of funky. I have tried streaming it in the past, so I'm thinking. Actually, I don't even know what to think about this game, but it looks like a massive like um, Xeno Xenoblade style world is what I'm getting from this. Um, I played Xenoblade Chronicles uh, one, I think, the one with the Xenoblade Chronicles X. And that looks super similar to this. So I hope it's like nice, nice open world. Because I tried Xenoblade Chronicles and it was cool. It was fun. I love the open world aspect. Uh, I thought you can just like run around and smack enemies and like st basically start combat there. But I think it was just too complicated for my brain about five or six years ago, maybe seven years ago. I don't know how long the game's been out, but I had it out on, on the Wii U. Uh, and I remember trying to play it and it was just too complex for my, for my pea brain. Uh, and there was just too many things to do. And I, if you know me, I like turning my game, my, my game. I like turning my brain off when I game. Um, so if it's, if there's something where I have to think super hard, I typically I'm not going to be super interested in it, but if I heard, <laughs> okay, me pausing the video again, I've heard, um, talking with somebody with Connor specifically, uh, if anybody knows who Connor is, um, but he, I was talking to him on Friday about this, um, and he knows more about this game than I will or than I do. Uh, but apparently he's he's speculating that the, the mission is going to be like mission types. Um, and there's going to be like a main overworld and stuff where you get stuff done. Um, and then you jump into a mission and it's going to be kind of like Warframe style missions, which is pog. I absolutely love Warframe. I play the shit out of Warframe. Um, so if that's basically if like essentially from a, from a super far away standpoint, if this game is similar to warframe in the aspect that it's just like you would jump into missions and do stuff and the missions are you know between what like two minutes and maybe 15 i'm not sure how the longest warframe mission is but i don't know i think that'd be kind of cool and then like maybe some story missions along the way that are like only solo player or i don't know i'll, I'll be super oh there's rideable stuff that's cool and i'm assuming some character creation okay so here i want to go back so this this was in like an arena kind of thing. So I wonder if you make your way up to the arena and it closes. So let's 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 see. So we've got a sword shield person here. I actually don't know what this is. I have no idea what that is. But there's a guy on the this guy on the left here is a is a warlock kind of kind of dude. So we got a ranged mage. We got a kind of maybe tanky paladin type person. This guy's got a hammer. So maybe within different classes, you can unlock the ability to have different weapons, probably. A whole ass meteor in 2023. Yeah, well, it's 2024 and in the Americas, it's still not out. So maybe if I made like, um, I think maybe if I make like a, a Japanese or I don't know where this is out. Actually, maybe if I make a different <laughs> Steam account with a different region in it, I'd be able to play it. Maybe. I think that'd be cool. Oh, 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 go back. There's people. We get to dissect people. 
Actually, I do really like that shot. Um, I'll go back by frame. Pew. Oh, that's too. Yeah, I like this shot. I love this. It's kind of like a clash of different art styles because this is like super simplistic on the outside and then the inside it's like kind of getting higher def and like more 3D. That's really cool. What is that? It's a big ball sphere thing. So this guy's a, this is a short and shield guy. This person's got twin axes. That's cool. Is this a bow? If that's a bow, I'm 100% I'm taking the bow. I love the bow. Twin axes. Dang. So I wonder if it's going to like, if mission types, maybe it, the mission types would be sim more similar to Monster Hunter versus Warframe. I feel like that would be, that would be a better line to draw between uh, games rather than this and Warframe. So that probably makes a little more sense. Hmm. Very cool. Blue Protocol. I actually really like, oh, there's so much more stuff going on. I wonder if it's just like a random... Oh, uh, just end screen. Yeah, it's just that for, for like 20 seconds, 15 seconds. Um, this is really cool. I hope it's really open world, but also like limiting open world, you know, like where you open, you go into a mission and it's kind of like just like there, right? You go, go for it. What if we go to blueprotocol.com? All right, so there's the trailer. Oh, you can test this tester sign up. Meanwhile, in Japan, closed technical test which closed on the 13th of November. So apparently this game was available for a little bit. Ooh, deep customization. Become your ideal self. Choose your facial appearance, hairstyle, clothes, accessories, weapons, and mounts for a combination that's unique to your personal style. Multiplayer adventure. Work together as a team with other players to tackle quests, fighting boss battles, and engage in massive online raids against towering monsters. That's pretty cool. Because didn't, didn't like the 3DS um, Monster Hunter have like these kind of raid styles that weren't just like uh, you go out on a mission and just, like, f look for things and then take down this whole boss. It's like an actual, like, you're in a coliseum type beat. And there's one monster gets released and you just, everybody goes on that. I think that was a thing. But I'm not sure. I haven't really played anything outside of, I played a little bit of Rise and a little bit of, well, I played a decent amount of World, I think. I played enough of World to know what's going on. I might have beaten the main boss or, like, the main storyline. not exactly sure. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or advanced player, the action-based combat system features simple controls that are customizable and ab able to match any play style. That's pretty cool. Ooh, there's a newsletter. All right. This is cool. I really like this. So this is on Steam. So maybe I wonder how the, the testers sign up. Closed technical tests. Sign up for an opportunity to participate in closed technical tests. So sign in with Amazon. Very cool. All right. So pretty much there's one big big question that i have right for this game is there fishing you know every every good big game like this every big mmorpg has to have fishing right there was no there was very little amounts of water i'm gonna assume that there's gonna be places with water but is there fishing is that that's the real question right what is what is fishing all right but anyway i think i'm gonna wrap this video up i can't believe i <laughs> made this about almost not even almost 10 minutes all right, I think I'm going to wrap this up. I made it somehow almost 10 minutes on a two-minute long <laughs> trailer that has a bunch of dead space at the end of it. Um, but I want to thank you guys so much for watching and leave leave some comments. Um, are you excited for Blue Protocol? Does this look interesting? Does this kind of video look interesting to you? Because maybe I could, maybe I can scrounge up some other games that haven't come out yet uh, that that I could do. In my mind, um, it's called which is actually no bleep editor bleep that out i'm the editor i'm gonna bleep that out because i want it to be a surprise um <laughs> as to what it is so actually i have another one on the back burner on my brain if you guys want to see that let me know uh if this video was cool whatever let me know um thanks for watching